Hello, hello everyone and welcome to Divine Day Boo. This is Kathy speaking. I hope that you're all doing well. Okay, we're looking into a prelude, so a sneak peek into each individual sign for the year 2022. Now, this is going to be a short video, an introduction, because I will be doing longer, a longer reading for each sign with extended, uh, the extended version of the year of 2022 for each of you uh, soon. But this is just a general overview into, we'll be looking into love, money and career, family and health. For each sign, you can watch your um, sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign. I suppose if you're watching this reading for love, you can always look at your Venus. I mean, Venus means money and love and value. So I suppose you can check out your Venus sign if Venus is not in your um, original zodiac sign in the same placement, same house. So Mars, you can watch, I suppose, if it's anything related to career. Um, and the North Node, which is uh, fate and where we should be heading towards. Um, you can watch that as well, that sign, and where you've got your north node of the moon. So, um, let's jump straight into each sign. I want to wish you all a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year of 2022. We know with, with um, Jupiter ingressing into Pisces, it will be a lot of help. It will be very helpful. It will be a huge awakening, I feel, for many of us, for the collective, on a more spiritual value, spiritual sense. After all the um, difficulties we've been going through, Jupiter will uh, bring that optimism, that sense of freedom, and that understanding, that wisdom, I feel, through a spiritual practice, through obviously us connecting to divine to spirit okay now we'll also be taking a message from the angels goddess uh, gods and goddesses um for a general uh, oracle message for the whole year for each of you i'll be looking into the karma dharma and the areas i spoke to you about before so let's jump straight into it Thank you so much for your support. Let's go on to the readings. Hello, hello, dear Virgo, and welcome to Divine Day Boo. Thank you so much for being here. This is Kathy speaking. Let's see what's going on in 2022 for you, dear Virgo. Okay, this is a prelude, so just a quick look, sneak peek into 2022. I will be doing longer videos for the year uh, moving forward. Let's see what the Karma Dharma is for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, and North Node. So you can watch your other signs to get a bit more information. Today we'll be looking at love, career, and money, family, and health. Okay, so four different sections. What's the Karma Dharma in 2022 for Virgo? Virgo, please, Spirit. And dear Virgo, those of you that are sun or rising Virgo, we know that Jupiter will be entering your seventh house of partnerships, relationships, and you'll be receiving your justice. So I don't know if this speaks to re uh, divorce or separation as well, because um, Jupiter can also speak to justice, truth, legalities. Justice is a Libra. So the scales are balancing out. You're harmonizing, you're receiving your karma dharma, uh, your justice. Remember, this is an open portal. It's number 11. So it can speak to harmony, can speak to relationships coming into a positive, fair, giving and receiving. Now, some of you could be on the cusp with Libra or have 
You could have your Venus in Libra, dear Virgo, for all we know. So, justice. Justice is number 11. The portal opens for Virgo. What's going on for Virgo in 2022? Thank you, Archangels. Virgo. Virgo and their justice. What's that all about? Let's look at love first of all. Oh my God, dear Virgo, you're coming from a heartbreak. This could be an affair, a, a disappointment, a breakup. Um, lots of swords, so you could be dealing with an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Libra is very uh, strong. So where are you moving to? You're leaving conflict. You're leaving a heartbreak and a disappointment. And you're, you could be literally moving away. Uh, looking for serene waters, leaving conflict. Oh my goodness. Libra. Libra is very strong. Queen of Swords is usually someone who's going through separation or divorce. This could also be a meeting. Meeting your justice. Meeting up with your justice through uh, transitioning in matters of love. We know that Queen of Swords is someone that's very fair. She's she cuts through the crap. She's she makes a judgment. She makes a decision. Seven Swords and the three is Ten of Swords. This is the end. This is the darkest before the dawn. You're transitioning away from something that was very hard. And this could speak to difficult communication. If you, if you, let's say, possibly are at a physical distance, she's traveling over water. Queen of Swords, usually a mother, someone who's gone through heartbreak, someone who sees things from a detached perspective. Three of Swords. This could be three people in a situation. Let's see what else comes through and we'll see. Let's see what's going on in career and in, in your money sector. We've got the three of pentacles. We've got the lovers. And the three. Oh my goodness me. Three of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So, you know, career and love or career and family, all um, they all sort of come together, right, in one's life. Um, going through an easy um, chapter with work could either help or hinder another area of life. So here we see that there is a strong um, decision, a very important decision. The lovers is Gemini and Gemini is making a choice. Now I don't know if around work or career there is another love connection. I mean three of pentacles is the work scene. The lovers does speak to a very powerful union, maybe even a partnership in a something maybe that you do um, on your own or something that you're working on through partnership. But we've got the Three of Cups here, which can speak to celebration. Um, whatever decision you're making is going to bring some form of a celebration and a, a group effort. This could be you going out celebrating with friends, some sort of a success because the Three of Pentacles is you being noticed for your talents. And it's the initial stage of prosperity. Remember the Three of Pentacles does speak to the Empress, which does also um, speak to abundance and manifestation and um, love, Venusian matters. But there's a decision here. Remember the Lovers is also a six. So it's all about coming into harmony concerning a important decision, a head over heart decision. Could be you collaborating with another partner. It could be um, around the work scene that there is a very important love connection, again, I'm going to say here. Could also speak to the possibility of 
rekindling something. I don't know if there's physical distance between you, because uh, you know this could be a, a this could also be a long distance connection where there's it's more of a cerebral connection than a physical connection. So we'll see. Let's see what's going on in family. So your one-on-one -on -one family or your extended family. We have the chariot, cancer. We've got the queen of pentacles, which is you usually, dear Virgo. And we've got the page of cups. So the page of cups, Pisces energy, we've got... Uh, the chariot, which can speak to a house move. This could be, obviously, you're showing up as a mother or someone very motherly. Queen of Pentacles uh, is the minor arcana of the Empress as well. So she's very good with her money, very stable, very nurturing, loving and pure towards those who are in her family. So I don't know if you're protective or you're um, giving, very giving to your children, those of you that have your own children. Now it's interesting that the Queen of Swords, dear Virgo. Now you are a you're a mutable Earth sign, but um, because you're ruled by Mercury, you're very much about logic, and you come across as quite cerebral and very much about that. You know the mind. That's why I'm not surprised that I see the Queen of Swords here, um, which could be another side to you. Remember that Virgo can be very discriminative. Uh, very discerning sometimes as well, very intelligent because of Mercury, being able to see through the trickery. Not always, obviously, dear Virgo, as remember that Neptune is right across you. Neptune can be those rose-colored glasses, but, I mean, the Page of Cups can speak to a childlike energy, a messenger, an offer coming through, an apology, but the chariot speaks to, you know, I'm driving that chariot forward. I'm taking charge. She holds the Ace of Pentacles, which could be a new home or a new a new place, something that she's building on or working on. So we've got a mother and a child that's moving away. The chariot is a new a new uh, new home traveling short distance travel but also long distance travel could be but also uh, making up one's mind about taking charge of one's life and I feel that where family is concerned where family is concerned I feel as though you're holding strong um, having sort of like you know a lot of knowledge um, you are very knowledgeable in how you can protect provide for your family. So I see you in a position of power, uh, dear Virgo. And the Page of Cups is an offer of love. It's a small offer of love. Um, so I don't know if this is support through your children or supporting you and your family from a love offer. I don't know, which could, as I said, relate to what's going on in your love life here. Let's see what's going on in your... In your health, in matters of health, this could be psychological or physical. We've got the Three of Wands. We've got the Four of Swords. Ooh. So you're needing to heal a broken heart, dear Virgo. This is emotional but also psychological healing that needs to take place. And remember the Four of Swords comes after the Three. And we've got Three of Wands, Three of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. And we've got the Ten of Wands. So some of you are needing to take time out. Um, I feel that there is a sense of exhaustion here. Those of you are, that are turning your back on, and I don't know if someone's done the dirty on you, you may have been um, dealing with someone maybe that's broken your heart, someone that's done the dirty on you or, you know, had an affair or something like that. But I do see you leaving um, not wanting to take, um, not wanting to use those five of swords, remember, which can be conflict. You're moving away from conflict. You're not wanting to take part in conflict where someone maybe was quite deceptive. This is the seven, seven of swords. We've got a fair few swords, so it's going to be a very 
tricky time for you where you're going to have to use your discernment, dear Virgo. Now, the Ten of Wands turns into the Ace. Remember, it's you trying to get to a place that you see in the distance. Usually, there's a home and the Wands are in front. Um, you're using your higher self to be able to see where you're heading to. Now, physically, this could be very draining and tiring. Thirteen wands, maybe even four wands, so maybe even being broken-hearted within a marriage or a commitment, which is sort of weighing heavily on your health or your ex uh, just doing too much. Doing too much, if if this is what's what you're needing to do, is that you've got a lot of issues with family, whether it's your one-on-one -on -one family, your closest, closest family, uh, could be a commitment, a marriage, or even your extended family, where you could be turning your back on some people here. Now, the Three of Wands says that you've made your, you've decided on what you need to do. You're trying to look after yourself and put down this burden that you've been carrying, which has been weighing on your health. So the, the cards are saying you've created what it is you've created. Um, the work that you've put in, it's time to rest now because it's time to look after you because if you're not well, then the, that ship, you won't get to see that ship coming through. And it's interesting that we've got a lot of cards with water, a lot of water. So a very emotional year. Remember that Jupiter will be in Pisces, in your seventh house. So a lot of emotional um, things happening. You'll be seeing maybe deceptive um, influences from people that you deal with, from your family, from your partnerships. And this could speak to many tears, but with a justice card, which can also speak to separation, you're coming into your own, you're coming into your harmony, you get what you deserve. So all those tears maybe that are you will be um, purging, like tears speak to an internal purge, a, an emotional purge that you're going through. All those tears will wash away all the burden, all the heartbreaks or disappointments uh, that you uh, are moving away from, right? And you're meeting a sense of justice and harmony, Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. And we've got the Six of Wands. So Six of Wands does speak to balance, harmony, success. This can speak to success, balance and harmony in uh, whatever you're passionate about. Um, this is recognition, so your hard work pays off. Um, even the, remember what I said, you, maybe you've been working very hard and you are acknowledged uh, from you know others and um, Six of Wands is people congratulating you on a job well done. So you're um, victorious. You are victorious. Just make sure that you take time out to sleep, take time out to heal. Uh, and I do see this as very positive, that you're leaving the heartbreak in the past. You're coming to another balance card, another card of harmony, so you're transitioning, dear Virgo. 2022 is a great transition. Remember where um, any matters of emotion or offers of love or support uh, could be coming through. I mean, love in small doses, let's say, which gives you sort of like the understanding that you are worthy of love. And remember also that I said this could also be a rekindling or a reconciliation of a very powerful union, which maybe was a lot of hard work for you and maybe related to work. So maybe the acknowledgement comes um, to, you know, what you put up with. Um, the acknowledgement comes from spirit, I feel. And then obviously, um, naturally and physically from others. Let's see what the angels, gods and goddesses have for you. And uh, so I've mentioned the signs already. We've got strong Leo energy. Some of you may 
also have Leo in your chart or you could be dealing with someone that ha uh, holds strong Leo. We've got a fair bit of fire here, a fair bit of air, so Aquarius, a Gemini, Libra. Um, we do have some Earth. We've got all the elements. We've got Cancer as well. And uh, again, Libra, I'm going to say. Let's see what's going on for Virgo in 2022. We've got Goddess of the Shadows. What you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. Ooh, so you're going to be showing your dark side. The discernment, looking at the details, dear Virgo. Let's, and it's showing all the seven chakras. So you are perceiving You are perceiving through your um, seven chakras. Are they in sync? Are they in balance? Are they aligned? Let's see what the message holds here. So goddess of the shadows. Realize that any perception or belief you have about yourself or others is actually a deception more than it is a perception. I was talking about a deception and Neptune in your relationship house. What you perceive to be your dark side or shadow self holds a hidden treasure. As humans, we rarely see the full picture in any situation because we are forever stuck in the illusion of good and bad. Your, you judge your positive and negative qualities and strive to be more of what you perceive to be positive while attempting to disown or neglect those aspects which you consider to be negative. By holding this belief, you fail to realize that all serves a purpose and that all benefits you in some way. Everything in our world is made up of positive and negative charges, which together make a whole. You have been guided to choose this card by your soul because you are ready to move to the next level of conscious awareness. Over the coming months, you will find yourself questioning many of your long-held beliefs and you will realize that many of them are simply illusions that only serve to keep you feeling small, inadequate or restricted. This card heralds the start of a wondrous and empowering period of your life which brings to the surface many beautiful experiences and opportunities which in the past you never thought possible. So this does speak to beautiful experiences and opportunities which you never thought possible in the past, dear Virgo. So a wondrous and empowering period of your life. So it's going to bring up to the surface many things, maybe even that you... Um, had an illusion about and that is in your relationships mainly so and I feel maybe because I don't know about you I'm a double Virgo but I always like to see the good in other people sometimes that could be those rose-colored glasses uh, so I don't know if this speaks to you personally but for me it does I like to see the good in people until until they've proved um, the negative side, you know, their negative side coming through. But, you know, it's always good to give people a chance to prove themselves. Um, you know, they say uh, once, twice, third time. Uh, after the third time, I think it's time to close the door, right, and discern. This is like a purging process. Um, I feel 2022 for all signs is going to be like discerning. The masks are coming off. It's time to keep the people who are on your side, those who are open to connect with you. And uh, it's a time to see who truly everyone is. Okay. So, dear Virgo, I'm wishing you well. As I said, do press on that uh, notification bell. Uh, maybe even check that you are subscribed because sometimes you may think you're subscribed and you are not. Uh, many people have said that to me that they don't receive um, the the notification when I've uploaded. So just check that you are subscribed and press on that notification bell. Thank you for commenting, sharing, subscribing and liking this video. As I said, I'll be doing a longer version, so we'll be looking into all the months um, at some point. So 
This is it, dear Virgo. Wishing you well. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. All the best. Um, and hope that 2020, uh, 2022 uh, brings you the blessings that you deserve because you do. You provide a service. You provide uh, motherly, pure love to many. Um, that, of course, is the Virgo energy uh, emanating in its light side. We We all have that yin and the yang energy the light and the dark so let the light shine through you and um, what we give out also is received back so wishing you well dear virgo love you lots talk to you soon thank you